now let us see how to calculate angles from bearings suppose bearings are given how to calculate the angles let us say bearing of line ab is given and let that be theta 1 and bearing of line bc is given theta 2 now you want to find out the angle beta so this angle abc you want to find out so how to find out this if you see this more clearly for every problem you can also draw diagram and solve instead of using direct formulas so beta equal to back bearing of previous line minus four bearing of next line so here you want to find out beta so they are saying that beta equal to back bearing of previous line so back bearing of line ab is this this is the back bearing of line ab now what is the four bearing of next line four bearing of next line is this which is theta 2 and this is theta 1 plus 180 in this case so this angle beta will be back bearing of previous line minus four bearing of next line so this is the formula to be used for calculating angles from bearings it is always suggested to convert reduced bearing to whole circle bearing before you solve any problem like we saw in the previous case now let us see how to calculate bearings from angles let us take the same kind of example so here you had a b and this is b c let us say this angle is given a b c alpha so it could be this angle also or it could be this angle also how to know that alpha is clockwise angle from back station if you see this what is the clockwise angle from a b that is back station this side this is back station this will be four station back from back station if you calculate the angle alpha clockwise that is the angle which we are looking at so let us say four bearing of ab is given as theta 1 now we want to know the four bearing of bc so four bearing of bc equal to four bearing of alpha sorry four bearing of ab plus alpha which is the clockwise angle from back station plus or minus 180 degree so if you see here what is the four bearing of bc so this is the four bearing of bc which is nothing but four bearing of ab so this is the line ab so this will be the four bearing of ab plus this whole alpha minus 180 degree this part so when this is four bearing of ab plus alpha is greater than 180 degree you should use minus sign if it is less than 180 degree you should you should use plus sign as we saw for back bearing equal to four bearing plus or minus 180 degree it is the same kind of thing used here also if you are very confused you can draw a diagram like this and confirm let us solve one example which came in engineering services exam so here they have given whole circle bearing of line ab is 50 degree so this they are telling it is 50 degree and of line bc they are telling it is 120 degree and what is the deflection angle beta so we know that deflection angle equal to back bearing of previous line minus four bearing of 
next line so here for beta back bearing of previous line that is back bearing of ab minus four bearing of bc which is the next line so first we have to find out the back bearing of ab back bearing of ab will be four bearing of ab plus or minus 180 degree so here it is 50 degree which is less than 180 degree so you should use plus sign which is 230 degree so back bearing of line ab is 230 degree so 230 degree minus four bearing of bc they have given us 120 degree equal to 110 degree so the angle which we are looking at deflection angle is 110 degree now let us solve one more problem they have given four bearing of ab and they have given three more angles so let us first draw a diagram before we find out the bearing of bc and ca there are a b c so that means this is a triangle because the sum is 180 degree whenever there are three points or four points the total sum of angles will be into 90 degree so here if there are three sides as in a triangle 2 into 3 6 6 minus 4 2 sum will be 180 degree this you can use for checking when you solve some problem if it is a quadrilateral that is four sides it will be 2 into 4 minus 4 into 90 degree so 2 into 4 is 8 8 minus 4 4 4 into 90 will be 360 degree so the sum of all this angles will be 360 degree and here it is 180 degree this you can use for checking answers sometime now let us come back to the problem so here they have given four bearing of ab as 80 degree and they have also given certain other angles cab bca and abc so if you see angle cab is 30 degree and angle bca is 20 degree angle abc is 130 degree this is very broad as you can see it is a obtuse angle 130 degree now they want to know the bearing of bc and ca we know that how to calculate the four bearing of bc four bearing of bc equal to four bearing of ab plus clockwise angle from back station plus or minus 180 degree so here we know four bearing of ab is 80 degree clockwise angle from back station so if you draw a clockwise angle it will come like this it is not the smallest angle it is clockwise angle from ab that is the back station of b is this side so clockwise angle which is 360 degrees whole 360 minus 130 which is 230 degrees so 80 degree plus 230 degree this is definitely greater than 180 degree so we will use minus sign here 180 degree which is 310 degree minus 180 degree which is equal to 130 degree so four bearing of bc will be 130 degree now what is the four bearing of ca four bearing of ca equal to four bearing of now we want to know the four bearing of ca so this is what we want to know so we know that the four bearing of bc we just calculated as 230 degree clockwise angle so that this angle clockwise angle from back station this area this angle which is 360 minus 
which is 340 degree this is definitely greater than 180 degree so you use minus sign 180 degree 230 plus 340 will be 470 minus 180 which is equal to 290 degree so this is the answer for this problem thank you guys for watching the video to continue to watch more videos please subscribe to our channel